Hello everyone, this is General Odom. Welcome back to another Let's Play Rise of the Three Kingdoms. So it is now winter of 280 and we have defeated some additional soon faction forces. But as we've advanced to the next turn, Tao Kuo is going to have a new bride. Wu Wei is currently riding. And so they delete they destroyed a lot of buildings it seems like. So I will do a growth policy here. And I will send my generals back to keep the peace. And the turn reports. Looks like we're still okay. Wen Chang has finally leveled up so they can, you know, upgrade the town. I'm sure they would have done that themselves without my help, but I want to do it anyways. Construction report, building a whole bunch of things, recruitment reports, not even much going on. Air celebrations and winter of 201 AD. So first, we'll quickly take the settlement. It looks like they are sending reinforcements there to save them. So, we'll take that with ease with our mercenary force. Wooden jump. Take a few heads. Take that. Repair the city. Uh, I guess we, uh, we'll have to retrain some of these guys for purposes. Uh, reinforcements somehow got through. Okay. But that's okay. Come and get me, you coward. I'm just hanging on around over here. We're not doing too much at the moment. Military build. Oh, okay. Well, it's gonna have to be a military build policy. Because we need some more reinforcements to fight this war. I did send some reinforcements hey, oh down south. So Shaho Zhang is coming yes, to relieve. Shaho Yuan. Yes, my lord. And we have a diplomat yes, over sire. here. We shall Perhaps we can bribe this guy to join us. Not. No, we cannot agree no? until we okay. meet again, sire. Well, we tried. We sire. tried. Yes. More reinforcements here. Tao Jun my has lord. had like no yes, men sire. for the longest time. We are recruiting additional men at Hanzong. Looks like these guys are pretty unhappy over here. But we hey, will deal with that another time. An order. I'm gonna get this guy out of here. Hey, oh Sh my king. She'll take my the city and defend it. And yes. I guess I'll send this guy over Marching here to Nanan. -Nan. We go no further today. Since there's nobody there really. Okay, North. We'll take Who over Mongolia at some point. For now, let's focus on. China. Ships ready. So, I am going to send an army to the settlement. Disembarking, sire. Chai sire. Sang. The war then, Pretty sire. important city, so Lane we will sire. we will siege it for now. The siege goes. Let us settle matters on the field. These guys of are battle. surrounded. Even though you, these guys have the numbers it advantage, they are not attacking Ling at all. Ready, sire. And... Okay. A fine day to sail. I can send reinforcements here. Orders. As you wish. So that's what I'll sire. do. I'm gonna get these guys out of here. My, My Imperial Lord. Army will hang out in Shangyang. Or should I send them out to Orders. fight in the south? Ships Meh. Ready. I just sent an army out there, so. Maybe not in this group. I should have a lot of men there. Okay, where should I send these guys? Down south? It looks like the bigger part of the battle is occurring right there, so let's do that. Let's have them dock there. Uh, we'll fight this captain over here. Yep, let's do that. Take out another force of the Soon clan. We're just gonna keep chipping at them. There's gonna be a lot of battles, I think, unless we can group up our armies. But right now, that's not happening because our armies are so spread out. Most of them are in the north. We didn't really prepare enough men down south. Uh, mainly because if you look at the south, there's the men or rather the settlements are much further apart so it's a little bit harder to concentrate my forces and it's better to take the settlements 
Wow, you totally lost my train of thought there. And, oh right, so it's better to split my forces and take the settlements instead of grouping them up uh, and just, you know, doing a death ball of sorts on the enemy force. So, okay. I have a lot of archers here. That means I need a bigger line. So group three. And then group four. My general did die last time, so let's try to keep him alive this time around. Well, my captain general. Are they marching? It's very hard to tell. I think they are. They weren't earlier though. forward a little bit. Fast forward. Oh god. Why do they do this? Why do they do this every time? So I'm gonna get up very aggressive here. I'm gonna destroy these guys now. Trying to run away again? Well, not today. Where's my cow, of course? Okay. Our men so, they have engaged the with my if we continue like this, we guys right there. Oh, I didn't have any men to engage that cavalry force. But I guess I'll just make sure to crush their cavalry on the right flank. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. It's and the kill the enemy general, just happen. like that. Just like that. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I need you guys to start flanking. down in the middle. We use fire to beef up our effectiveness in the middle right there. Alright, I'm just going to stab them right in the, in the chest right there. And that should give us... Wow. That really hurt them. A lot. Keep chasing these forces that are retreating. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Okay, right here. So troop quality is very important. You'll notice that in a lot of these battles, I haven't really been using the county spearmen. Or really any peasant volunteers, on volunteers, uh, any of the sort really. That's because they break so easily when you have them do something, so it's better to just get more elite units. They cost a little bit more, the upkeep is a little bit more, but they definitely are way more worth it than, you know, whatever we had done initially in this, this grand campaign of ours to take over China. And so far this game's been really, really fun. I've only played... I mean, I've played Medieval Total War before when it first came out. Uh, a while back. But I never actually played, like, a full-on campaign. I've only ever managed to play the demo. Because that's all I could afford. The free demo. The free demo, guys. You get to play, like, one battle. And that, that's really all I played for... You know, when I was younger. But now, now that... You know, Medieval Total War is not as expensive as it used to be. And this is a really old game, but I must say, this is probably one of the more well-made Total Wars. I mean, Shogun 2 is, is probably the best. I, I, I have no doubt in my mind that that's probably one of my favorite Total War games. But this, but this Total, but this medieval Total War with the romance, or the, well, I guess the Three Kingdoms mod, really 
really fun. Definitely had a special place the in my heart, guys. All of so, Christendom we'll defeat will be the enemy here, the victory we'll crush we their army, here and victory is ours. Rise of the Three Kingdoms! One of, probably, I think this is like the second bloodiest war in, like, on Earth. Like, first is like World War II, then it's the Three Kingdoms War, and then I think it's World War One after that, or some other war. Not particularly sure. So, that's one army you are defeated. I respect you, These guys are enemy. pretty unhappy. Orders. That's okay. That's Let's right, see. Cool. It's an I mean, I guess my ship. biggest beef with this, this game so far Please is really ready. just the number... Like, the and instability. The like, you can't really play more than a few battles before the game crashing on yourself. These waters, sire. I didn't ships actually ready. want to do that, but that's okay. Now I don't have any ships to transport my men. Hi, sire. Oh, I like. I do. Set sail. So, going to actually send a pretty big contingent. Sire. Orders. Uh, I don't really want to send the county spare. Actually, sire. no, these county spare men should be okay. Orders. Mainly because they are fully armored. They are just like regular county spare men. They actually have, you know, Moving equipment ashore, to fight a battle. Ready, so we'll get some more reinforcements there. I'm also recruiting men and ZIP to hopefully begin an assault. We're only at the 11 minute mark here. I can't really do... Oh wait, I can. I definitely can. Shaho. Shaho Shang is coming to aid his father, I believe. I think they're father and son relationship, right? Let's check the giant family tree! When I adopted everyone. Yep, that's the son of Shao Yuan. All right. Yeah, ginormous family tree here. Crazy. It's crazy. Tao P is still super young. I guess we haven't really advanced too many years. I was. So we did do a lot of conquering. Hail my king. Okay, I'm Sorry. gonna try something. I'm going to send in about orders. None of my archers, I suppose. Well, just some of the archers. As you wish. Have them break off Sorry. until Shaho Shang shows up. But I will attack this force right here. If we auto resolve, execute all enemies there. Tao Bei shall lead that army. That's kind of what I was going for. And then I'm gonna besiege this place without harming the, the Grand Commander in the, the Southern Campaign. Planned, Grand Marshal of the Chariot. So I don't want him to be in mortal danger. Your orders, sire. That's why I kind of split the force out in case that guy comes to aid them. We can't hold this city if they do decide to take it. And you know what? Yes, it's perfectly Lord. okay if they do take it. Because we can always uh, come back and uh, re-engage. So those forces are recovering. I am Sire. going to send out... My lord. Uh, keep all of the archers here. I don't really need too many. I don't need any archers. Uh, so I'm going to send them down My here lord. to reinforce. Yes, so that we can have Sire. somewhat of a two-stack. I mean, we just don't have that many men down here anymore My lord. after so many battles uh, that should be okay and then those guys are being besieged Orders. what if I can send reinforcements in there? nope I cannot uh, so let me think it's okay if they, if they do that I will I think I'll do this Send the army right here. Hail my king. Maybe I just send the DA. Hold on. They can hold up for a good time. Okay. So I will send. I don't think I need too many archers, so I'm not gonna send any archers. I'm gonna keep one unit of Jizo guys right there. As you so this will be the reinforcements. Sire. For that territory. And then Come and get me, Ooh. coward. Let's see, those guys. Well, we'll have them hang out for a little bit. 
And I will end the video here. We are at the 15 minute mark. So, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time!